Hi everyone, this is Pierre Deleuze from ADH USC Krakow, Poland. Uh, I'm going to present uh, middleware infrastructure for multi-rule engine distribu distributed systems. I'll start with a brief overview of uh, the anatomy of the project. So a typical rule engine is uh, formed by uh, three uh, main components. The rule engine itself, a user interface that allows user to easily manage and see the rules and a rule repository that holds the rules. What we are adding on top of that are the components that are surrounded in black. So the specific middleware for this rule engine that exposes either the working memory or the repository. Using the working memory it is possible to expose facts as well. So this is what we'll be using later in the, in the demonstration. To our uh, global middleware, we aim to provide uh, backup, translation, and correlation services. So a concrete example would be um, in this in this specific use case, we have two three rule engines. Sorry, Jules, Jest, and Oracle. The Jules rule engine um, feels the need to export some its working memory, for instance, for performance reasons. It doesn't know about the two others. So through our middleware, it exports uh, parts or everything in his working memory. And our, mid our middleware allows it to, to communicate this to the other rule engines and to get the result back. So now I'll go ahead and uh, show you concretely um, in a user interface. Of course, uh, all of this could be automated, but we wouldn't see anything. So in this uh, in this interface, I can see there are three rule engines. One is empty for the purpose of the experiment. One is a just rule engine with uh, several rules, and another one is a Jules um, rule engine that has different uh, knowledge sets. One of it, one of which, sorry, has uh, different rules. So all of all of these uh, buttons have uh, services uh, behind them. And uh, we can see uh, this data here uh, with the, the rule engine uh, thanks to uh, Atom Publication Protocol repository. So for instance, we can see that in the repository for the Jules uh, rule engine, we have uh, three uh, services that are listed and we can explore those as well. So for instance, for the management level, we can see that there are uh, functions such as, such as uh, get knowledge set or get properties. And in the functional uh, whistle, we can see functions such as uh, get rules, delete rules, put rules, validate rules. So now I'll uh, now sorry I'll um, I'll show a little bit uh, how the exchange through the global middleware works. So I select this rule that has been exported using the get rules uh, function here. I'll uh, get the translation into report. So when I click uh, on this button, the service uh, translation service is called. It detects that it's uh, Jules and it detects that we need Jest because there is no other option in this demo. So here I get the translation of this rule into risk common, which is a W3C standard for uh, rule interchange. I then translate this uh, representation into the targeted one, which is Jest. Again, the translation service knows that when uh, risk comes in from uh, this rule engine, uh, it rules. It, requires it is required to export in um, Jest. So we have the Jest representation of the rule. Now we'll go to the Jest uh, middleware with MT and I would simply add the rule and now from the rule engine we know that there is this rule in the working memory thank you very much for watching and if you have any question please um, feel free to send us an email at this address bye